Hey there, and welcome back to Sims Sunday. My name is Pete, and today on our completionist approach to The Sims 3, we will have a slightly shorter episode. Nevertheless, quite a few significant things will happen here today. So last time we left off, we had Pete maxing out his athletic skill, and then we sent him to bed after Rikisha was already awake. After writing two reports already, she now finished her breakfast, and will now go and pump some iron. And so, after a few insignificant hours, Pete is well rested again. That's great news, because he has a big day in front of him. Today marks the day of Pete's first game as a professional athlete. And for that, we want to get him in the best possible mood. And while a good breakfast will get his hunger meter, well, not exactly filled, but to a decent enough level, Pete also seems to be in dire need of some fun. And if you're following this playthrough a bit longer, you might already be able to guess what's coming up. For now, let's quickly jump over to Ahisha, who has just leveled up her athletic skill, and that should be enough for today, so she can now take a shower. To kill a bit of time, Pete can quickly grab the mail, which, due to his efforts late at night in the last episode, now contains a certificate for reaching level 10 in the athletic skill. Congratulations, Pete. And we'll definitely put that certificate prominently on display right behind our treadmill, so maybe Ahisha can get some extra motivation from that. And then we'll tell Pete to relax in the bed again. At this point it should be obvious what's coming. Yep, one of the fastest ways to get the fun bar up and also improve relationships a bit. And speaking of improving relationships, since around the second half of the last episode, Pete has a wish that can be considered, well, quite significant. Let's make that wish come true. Yes, that is actually something I had around the middle of my to-do list, but then the wish popped up, so I thought to myself, since both Pete and Ayesha tend to live on the fast lane a bit, let's make it happen right away. So yeah, we'll have a wedding somewhere down the line, and I have a few things planned for that, so that's definitely going to be a special episode. For now, let's celebrate the engagement, with Pete working out and Ayesha cleaning the shower. Basically, let's just kill every last bit of romance in the room. With a clean shower, Ayesha is now going to practice chess for a little less than two hours, and then we can hopefully get back on track to become a chess grandmaster. Meanwhile, Pete has successfully killed about an hour of time on the treadmill. He'll now go take a shower, and then he'll have his very first game. As we all know, people tend to get ideas under the shower. This time, it's Pete who wants to learn the handiness skill. Let's promise him that, at least for now. I actually don't have a plan yet what we're going to do once he's finished all skill challenges. So, uh, well, yeah, handiness might come in handy. Oh, God. So, as Pete cashes in a career opportunity from the last video, Ayesha's on the phone with her next chess opponent. Ayesha has beaten three straight opponents. Let's see if she can make it four. Absolutely, yes, please. Alright, Iqbal has arrived. He looks like the kind of guy who has a lot of spare time. I hope he didn't practice too much. <laughs> oh, that, that doesn't look good. Okay, Ayesha has lost her first ranked chess match. That is unfortunate, but at least it gives her some experience towards the chess skill. Well, I guess we'll have to just try again. Not today, however, because there is a career opportunity waiting for her, and quite the easy one at that, so that is next for her. And here he comes, the hero of his first match, at least that's what I hope with a final score of 16-0. and 0. Pete seems to have absolutely eviscerated his opponents, and I believe he deserves something special for the occasion. He got engaged, he won his first game, and, and maybe you remember that, he has the discount diner lifetime reward. So, Pete, go ahead and treat yourself. It will, for sure, be on the house. And here is a nice little skill opportunity for Ayesha. Jog for one hour to get a cash reward. That's a no-brainer. And now that Pete has finished his cookies. Yes, that is actually what he had, because that is obviously what everyone craves for after a big exhausting game. We'll now get to work on another wish of his, and that would be to work out for 10 hours straight. 
While Pete is busy pumping iron, Ayesha has finished her conference in the city hall and she is quite tired already, so she'll go to bed. Our two sweethearts don't seem to spend much time next to each other in bed, apart from the occasional woohoo. So with Ayesha asleep and Pete completely focused on his workout for the foreseeable future, let's just quickly skip ahead about 6 hours. Because right now Ayesha is awake again and Pete is still working out. And after breakfast Ayesha can immediately work on another opportunity. She still has a bit of time before heading off to work, so one hour of jogging definitely fits in her schedule. Perfect, that's the one hour complete and you'll quickly see that I wasn't really thinking when I sent her to the shower next. Because right at this moment Pete is done with his 10 hours and he certainly deserves a shower. So we'll have Ahisha return the device instead and look who that is, our new chess arch nemesis. Well thanks for the cash. And while we're here, we'll have to continue writing reports sooner or later. We might as well put in some work early. And Pete will now be asleep at home, which, as unfitting as it may be, makes this actually quite the good spot to wrap this episode up. So yeah, we'll finish this episode in the trash. Once again, congratulations Pete and Ayesha for getting engaged. I think we'll see how that plays out very soon. Until then, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Cheers.